Hey guys, it's Jason, and today we wanted to talk to you about our new high-tech linear servos that are on Servo City. You may be aware that we've had Actuonix linear servos and lightweight linear actuators for quite a while, but these are from one of the biggest names there is in the world of servos. Uh, so high-tech has taken their years of experience developing servos and brought that into the lightweight linear servo world. Linear servos are really useful in applications where you need a compact solution for creating linear motion, but they can also be used for creating rotational motion as well, just like a standard servo would. Um, but one benefit that they offer is they provide a great amount of holding power, even when powered off, um, for your projects. These servos are available in four different ratios, and the ratio is going to affect your speed and your strength. That strength in linear servo nomenclature is going to be referred to as thrust, and that's how much pushing power you have. Uh, the thrust is going to be available anywhere from five and a half all the way up to almost 40 pounds worth of thrust. And the speed is gonna range anywhere from 0.1 to 0.9 inches per second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware that comes with these. They come with two M4 screws and two very solid steel mounting brackets and an alternate end cap to screw on that actuator extension tube. Not to mention lock nuts, which you always wanna use lock nuts when you can, especially with swivel and moving components like this. As an example, I have uh, one uh, representative from each of the different length options here. And in each of the lengths, you can get any of the ratios to get the speed uh, and strength that you need. But I happen to have one that is the fastest speed and one that's the slowest speed. And they're both connected with a Y harness to the same receiver. So as you can see here, as you can see, they're both responding to the same signal, but in very different ways. Uh, this guy has a gear ratio, which allows it to move much faster, but it has less power than this one, which is moving much slower, but has a ton of pushing power, a ton of thrust. Uh, but even this one here, which doesn't have as much thrust as that, has a, a significant amount of holding force on it because linear servos are great for that. You can see that high tech worked really hard to make these feel of high quality and look really nice. The matte black is a very nice touch. Uh, and the one millimeter measurement ticks on the extension tube are really nice and can come in handy. Uh, one thing that I do find is a little bit hard to see is the which wire is the signal wire. Um, so one quick uh, trick is if you're looking at the connector, the TJC8 servo connector, the leftmost contact when you're looking at the side where you can see those metal contacts through the outer housing, the leftmost one is going to be your signal contact. So you're gonna to wanna to line that up with the yellow or white wire, depending on what kind of servo wire connector you're using on the other side. Um, and that's gonna connect it up properly. And on most receivers, the signal wire is gonna be facing the label of the receiver. We really like these new high-tech linear servos. We hope you do too. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, as always, by shooting us an email to tech at servocity.com.